Hi, and welcome to Tooling Around. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at the Harley-Davidson Tri-Glide. And this will be interesting because I've never ridden a three-wheeler. More on that right after this. Building a strong America depends on having the right equipment. Hi, I'm Doc Bailey, a 30-year veteran providing cranes and bucket trucks, and we're the exclusive Link Belt Crane Distributor for the state of Hawaii and the Pacific. We service and provide OSHA inspections for everything we sell and rent with locations in Honolulu, Oakland, and Las Vegas. So please contact us at 888-DOC-BAILEY or 888-DOCBAILEY.COM. Okay, so this is my first time uh even starting one of these up, I'm in neutral. Okay. Now, I think there's a foot brake of some kind. Okay, that's it. Yeah, okay. How weird is this? Okay, I'm putting it in first. Here we go. Oh, it doesn't lean. How weird. Okay. So, immediately, I'm feeling the steering is different, okay? Now, I have to remember that I have these wheels sticking out this side. You know, there's an interesting feedback on the front, okay? That's Kepra up in the front to make, he's kind of gonna be lifeguard for me. I hope his loud pipes on this, uh, looks like he's got some Vance Hines on that fat boy up there, which I really like. Okay. Um, Okay, the clutch feels the same. Whoa! Oh. Okay, I'm going in front of him now. I'm gonna go up the street here. It's really strange not to go, okay, I gotta put my feet down. Okay. So. Pickup feels very much the same as the Ultra Limited I spent 2,000 miles on here recently. The sound is close, but you, you man, you got to get used to that steering because as soon as you push a little to one side, you get this feedback. This is a 107. It's got the uh, twin radiators on each side so that the motor runs a little cooler. Now a lot of people think this is for old guys who can't balance anymore, but I'll tell you what, my uncle, who was quite capable of riding anything and had many motorcycles, preferred his three-wheeler. He just thought it was more fun and unusual. And believe me, if you're with a club and they need to carry stuff like uh, refreshing beverages perhaps, this would be the tool. Okay, so I'm going about 55 miles per hour, well over the speed limit for this area, so I'm going to slow down here a little bit. But you don't feel it, you know? You know, when you're going straight like this, it feels like a two-wheeler. Except when you really try to turn hard, you don't get that lean, so it, it's a little strange if you're coming from a two-wheeler, but I can see how people get into this, you know? Now, I can't put a whole bunch of miles on this because it's a brand new bike with like six miles on it or something, but I'll tell you what, I'd like to. This would be the perfect bike to pack somebody with, too. And you know, it's funny, I look down there, I'm seeing a um, steering damper, which I haven't seen on any of the other bikes. I wonder if, well, it has to be characteristic of the three-wheeler. Okay. Me and this student driver will be making a nice little U-turn here. Let's see what this feels like. Take your time. 
on, student driver. I am a student driver myself right now. Oh, how nice, pulling out of the way for me. <clears throat> okay. Brakes, fine. I find myself not using the front brake. Whoa! Oh, that was a weird sensation. The uh, back wheel hit a bump independent of the other two wheels, and it kind of kicked it up there a little bit. Not dangerous, but just felt a little, whoa, what's going on back there? Oh, that's right, I've got three wheels. Okay, let's see how fast this thing stops. You know, because I'm guessing it weighs a little more. Okay, here, hold on. From, whoa. Yeah, it takes a little more to stop, which probably explains the dual disc brakes up in the front. And you know, I'm always riding brand new bikes. When the brakes break in a little bit, they're, they're much better. Beautiful day. Look at this. By the way, you know, if, if this is too much storage for you, there's what they call a, oh, I forget the name of it. Uh, it's a sleeker version of this, and it, you know, has a smaller trunk and all that. And I would show you it, but it sold this morning. These bikes are going fast. If you're thinking about grabbing a 2018 Harley Davidson, I'd get down to Cycle City, Hawaii pretty quickly because, man, they are going fast. So here's a shot of the um, LED lights up in the front and those two passing lamps. There's a separate switch to control those. This is the rear view of the uh, Tri-Glide. I really like this view. It, it, it looks kind of sports car to me. And uh, there's the trunk. Now this is the gas cap. Um, all these touring models don't have a locking gas cap. I guess they've figured out it's not that big a deal. This is the vent. Uh, this controls the airflow. And um, even in the rain, it helps, but sometimes it helps with wind buffeting. Now the Tri-Glide comes with the heel toe shifter, which I really like. And you can see the foot brake just on the uh, rear side of the floorboard there. This is the passenger's floorboard, they flip up. Um, this jack here, you can get an optional gizmo you put on your helmet with a microphone and it allows you to make phone calls and control the infotainment system. The passenger uh, has the option also. Um, there's their jack and again they'd need another optional microphone and gizmo that uh, goes onto their helmet. Uh, the passenger has their own speakers and they can control the volume and change the station with those two um, switches there. See this R here on the left side control? That's reverse. You put the bike in neutral, hit that switch, and then the next time you hit that R, the bike backs up. It's a one speed kind of deal. Uh, this, of course, allows you to cycle through the different information uh, that's reserve and, you know, mileage and trip A, trip B. Right side, typical stuff, starter switch, on, off, hazards, turn signals. Now, I tell you what, I can't say enough about how good the infotainment system on these bikes are. Um, I recently went from Arizona, um, from Nevada, Arizona, California, and found specific addresses by putting in, uh, uh, again, the address. Now, how you do that, see where it says Hawaii? You just put the state in first, then the city, then the street, then the number, and it takes you right there from a different state. Now, uh, it's a little weird because the keyboard isn't QWERTY. It's like in order, so that's kind of strange, right? Um, here, uh, <laughs> I always joke that when you uh, people from Hawaii look at this and they see POI, they go, oh, that's where you can buy POI. Well, it, of course, stands for point of interest. So there you have it. Um, this is the 2018 Harley-Davidson Tri-Glide. And uh, if you want to check it out, you can actually rent one of these. 
So uh, stop by Cycle City Hawaii if you feel like doing that. And thanks for watching.